Lance Cabinet Secretary, Freda Karone, is speaking at that event. Let's listen in. Better for us as a country, because that is the only way we are going to attract investment to our urban centers. So I want to assure your excellencies that we fully support this initiative and we are happy to be part of it. The ministry is working in collaboration with county governments and other state departments to really make sure that we are implementing our spatial plan and our national land use plan, which will be launched in June this year. This is really the starting point for what uh, that can you want to do, because you cannot plan our urban centers if we are not demonstrating fidelity to these policy documents. I think as a country, there's no shortage of policy documents. We have some of the best plans in the continent. Our biggest weakness is execution. So I'm hoping this SWEAT program will help us begin the journey of executing our plans. We have a beautiful document, the National Spatial Plan, but I'm not too sure how many counties have started the process, process of implementation, and that's why this is important for us as a ministry. We also want to urge our counties to support us in our aspiration to develop a national land information management system. This is important because this is where you'll get the information for planning. This is where you'll get the data. What we are trying to do as a ministry is to develop a framework that will put all our land information in a central platform to be shared by our county governments and other state agents. This will help you as you plan your urban centers because without this crucial information, even collecting revenue is a challenge because sometimes you don't even know how many landowners you have, how many properties you have. So you cannot collect rates because this information is not easily available. And that is why as a ministry, we are really working hard to ensure that we develop this platform so that we can use this information to support the planning processes that we are, we are gearing towards. We are focusing on making land use planning a dependable tool. We want to really demonstrate fidelity to our national planning systems so that we use it as a development tool. So that when you go from one town to another, you can see that we are really thinking about planning and we are executing our plans. I come from a very small town called Kapsavet. In this town, you will find goats in the city center. If it's a city that is, it's a town, it's a very small town. There are goats, sheep, bicycles, motorbikes. There's a market in the middle of the town. It is really the true reflection of a town that is not properly planned. And I think that is true of most of our urban centers. So if I was a governor, which I am not, I would really compete for these resources, which by the way, is one and a half times the entire budget of the Ministry of Lands. So you have a lot of money. As county governments, we also need to start putting money in our planning processes. As we engage our counties, one of the things I notice is that we don't put a lot of resources in the planning function. In some counties, you have one planner. In others, you don't even have a planner. It means we are not taking the planning function seriously. But I think a few counties are beginning to see the important role of planning, and they're beginning to put resources in the planning function. So maybe this program will help us see the need to really invest in planning. It's for this reason that as a ministry, we happily will support this program. We want to assure your excellencies that we will be the chief campaigner for this program because we think it is important. So don't worry about our support, you already have it. Because where we stand, we don't have the resources, but we know that the function is important. So we look up to you, our, our sponsors, our donors, and the county governments to invest a little more money in planning so that our country can be a competitive dis destination for investors. We need to develop our urban centers in sync with our national development aspirations. Agenda four, we need to align our county plans with our national plans so that as a country we move forward together in sync. One of the things that as county governments we would urge you to do is to provide service access to land for your investors. One of the challenges our investors face is that there are no services, the things I talked about, sewer lines. Even waste disposal, if you go to any town in Kenya, go to Mombasa as you enter the town, the dump site is right by the roadside. 
and it's true for many of our urban centers. So I think we need to really think about these things and think about the things that investors value, the services, the transport, making sure there is power, there is everything that you need as an investor to put your money in a certain locality. So I'd like to challenge our governors, your excellencies, please think a bit more about service in the lands in your counties so that investors can be easily attracted to your neighborhoods. This is a welcome intervention because it will support you halfway through. 3.8 billion as a seed cut is a lot of money. Like I said, it's like 70% of my entire budget as a ministry. So it's, it's, a, it's a good sum of money. So it's a good way to start the process of strengthening capacity for planning processes. I think it will unlock the potential of our municipalities to attract investment. As I said earlier, it will also help us as national government to implement our priority areas, Agenda 4, manufacturing, food security, healthcare, housing. We can't do this if we don't plan. And planning allows you to have control because the moment you don't have a plan, everything is chaotic because everybody puts up a building all over the place. But if you, are a, if you have a clearly defined land, land use system, even your citizens in your counties will be faithful to the plan. But if you don't have one, how can they be faithful to something that you don't have? So your excellencies, I want to give you our commitment as a ministry that we fully support this program and we support our counties in the planning processes. I thank you for listening to me. Have a good night. Right, that's the Lands Cabinet Secretary Farida Karunei speaking at that event hosted by the uh, UK Ambassador to Kenya, Nick Haley, of course, talking about uh, sustainable urban economic deve development in the country, a program that uh, will be financed uh, in support of the UK that will cost 8 billion shillings, of course, addressing a section of governors uh, from the country, different counties, uh, where they are looking at uh, the possibilities of uh, uh, enhancing or uh, making sure that uh, the urban development has the uh, some catalyst to ensure that it uh, moves faster than it has. And of course, their cabinet secretary for lands, uh, Freda Karuna, indicating or calling upon the county governments to facilitate uh, that uh, investors are able to access land services faster so as to boost the investment and development of uh, the county 